else to do for a week while you got rescued. True. Right? Seeds, Popping seeds, man. What do you Popping think a bear seeds. does? A bear doesn't have hobbies. He they forage for food all the time or they sleep. That's the bear's life. Well, and reproduction. I, I wish I was a bear. Fishing. Yeah, but that's eating, right? They don't fish for fun. No. Some of them do. Okay, we've looked at this plant already, but it's again on your list here, Caryopteris cladonensis Q blue. Blue. We'll look at it on the other side. If you crush the foliage of this plant, what does it release? A fragrance. Based on the oils in the leaf, what does that tell you? It's from the Mediterranean. From the Mediterranean, what else does it tell you? Or potentially from that area, or a hot area, what else does it tell you? Acidic. It'll tolerate dry conditions. Silvery leaves tell you it likes full sun or will tolerate full sun. Drought tolerant. This area doesn't get any water in the summer, and you can see it's still flowering. Now, Kew Blue is named after Kew Gardens in England, which is the center of the horticultural universe. Kew Gardens. And this is where this cultivar came from, so it's a really intense uh, blue form of it. So we've talked about this plant. Some of you probably studied it and thought it was a bonus. Yep. It's going to be, but it wasn't. I still have to What happened? Right here, you got like oh, I, the, the boom on my boat kind of like rigging. Snake bite. Don't, don't yeah. take that from it. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't let that happen. <laughs> no. Well, it was the wind. I was taking, dropping the sails and the rigging in the wind. and it, oh, you're, so pretty, you, you're pretty sad to begin with. And then you oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Sad. Yep. Uh, the next one we want to look at is 1081, and it's the shrub right behind us here. We've talked about Spirea Nipponica snow mound, and I think I talked to you about some of the problems with Spirea Nipponica snow mound, i.e. it being uh, prone to verticillium wilts. And so what we did at, in the Cuddy Gardens is we took out all of the Spireas that we had there, uh, the snow mounds, and we replaced them with this very, very old variety called Van Hutai, X Van Hutai. So the red flowering, or the red leaved shrub in the background. Spirea van Hutai has been around for a long, long time. It's called the bridal wreath spirea. And it's called the bridal wreath spirea because the flowers, I guess, reminded someone of the lace on a wedding gown. And uh, it's a great, great shrub. There were some beautiful ones around the corner from my house on an old industrial property. But someone broke the cardinal rule of pruning. They didn't know what the plant was, and they decapitated it. So now you have these mop-top things that look fairly hideous. But I did manage to get a picture of them before they decapitated them when they're in full flower. So go to the website and look at this plant in flower. It is a solid mass of beautiful white arching uh, blooms. Very, very large plant, and that's why it's fallen out of popularity, because it is big and houses and gardens have become smaller but it's a great plant for an informal hedge or mass planting, and cetera. Again, it can be pruned back selectively or pruned to, the, to, you know, to uh, 15, 20 centimeters to rejuvenate it in the spring as well. So it can be a shrub that can be around for a very, very long time. When it gets old and tired, you can prune it back and let it regrow. I think pages are getting stuck together, huh? Cool. At least I feel... Did you get that photo, Bob? No. No? Oh.